Hi, I'm Judy with Amazing Trails Yoga here at the Jersey Shore. This playful routine features asanas fresh from the ocean, such as whale, mermaid, seal, crab, shark, and dolphin. We even toss in beach ball and starfish. Roll out your mat, take a deep breath, and be prepared to smile. sitting very upright, our shoulders right over our hips, we'll inhale through our nostrils like a whale, exhale out through our blowhole, the, it appears to be mist, it is a combination of hot air and bacteria, inhale through our nostrils, exhale out at the top of our heads, the blowhole like a whale. We will fishtail our feet around to the side so that your left foot is over your right. And the leaning on your right hand will inhale our left arm up. Exhale down. Come down a little further on your right arm on the forearm. Inhale up. Exhale down. Maybe a little bit further, straighten out your legs. We'll inhale. On the exhale, straighten your right arm. Now inhale your left arm up, lift up your hips. Exhale down, straightening your right arm. Inhale your left hip up, your left arm up and over. Exhale down, straightening your right arm. And one more time, we'll inhale our left arm up, lifting up our hips, and coming down, straightening our arm. Now we will inhale your left arm up to the sky. On the exhale, come through, thread the needle, and inhale your arm back up, and rest. On the exhale, inhale your right arm up, Exhale through, give a little spinal twist. Inhale your left arm up, exhale down. And one more time, we'll inhale our left arm up. On the exhale, through under our bodies on the twist. Inhale your left arm up, exhale to Sukhasana. We'll inhale through our nostrils like the whale. Exhale through our blowhole, sitting so upright. Inhale through our nostrils. Exhale through our blowholes. Inhale through our nostrils. Exhale through our blowholes. And we'll fishtail our legs around. Your right foot is crossed over your left. And we'll inhale our right arm up. Exhale down. Take your left arm a little bit further. Maybe you could come on your forearm as you inhale your right arm up. Exhale back, straightening your left arm. Inhale your right arm up. This time you can straighten your legs like a mermaid. Your right foot is over your left. Exhale back, straightening your left arm. And this time on the inhale, we'll lift up our hips. Exhale back. Inhale your right arm up and over, lifting up our hips. Exhale back. Inhale your right arm up, lifting up our hips. Exhale back. Now we'll switch it up. We'll 
Inhale your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, threading the needle, twisting underneath. Inhale, back up. And exhale, you can straighten your left arm. Inhale your right arm up, your hips come up. Exhale for the twist. Inhale your right arm back up. And exhale as you straighten your left arm. And one more time, we'll inhale our right arm up. Your hips come up simultaneously. Exhale for the twist. Inhale your right arm up. And exhale back in Sukhasana. We'll put our hands on our knees. I'll turn sideways so you could see me a little better. We'll do some seated cat cows. So on the inhale, you'll keep your hands on your knees. Inhale your shoulders back, your heart forward like a cow. Exhale for the cat. Inhale for the cow, shoulders back, hearts forward. There are cowfish in the sea. Exhale for catfish. There are freshwater catfish and saltwater catfish. Inhale forward for the cow. And exhale for the cat. Very nice. We're coming to the side. We're coming up into crab. So in crab, your hands are under your hips, out to the sides a little bit. It's actually like a reverse table. Try to be as horizontal as you can. We're coming up. And you can come down, drop your hips. Inhale your hips up into crab. Exhale down. Inhale your hips up into crab. And exhale down. Now we'll have a little fun with this. Inhale your hips up as you inhale your right knee toward your chest. Exhale down. Alternate left knee on the inhale up to your chest. Exhale down. Inhale your right knee toward your chest. Exhale down. Inhale your left knee toward your chest, pointing your toes. Exhale down. We'll do it one more time on each side. Inhale your right knee toward your chest, pointing your toes. Exhale down. And your left knee toward your chest, pointing your toes. Exhale down. Now we'll inhale our right knee up again. Flex your foot, push out like it's walking. Draw your knee back toward your chest and down. Your left knee comes up toward your chest. Flex your foot, push out, getting ready to do the crab walk. Back to your chest and down. So your right knee comes up, out, in and down. Your left knee comes up, out, in and down. We'll do that one more time on each side. Your right knee comes up, push out, back to the chest and down and left knee up toward the chest, push out, back toward the chest and down. And one more fun crab playtime thing that we're going to do. You're going to inhale your hips up, your knee, straighten your leg, bend your leg, and down. We're going to stay up in the crab this time. Your left knee up toward your chest, straighten your leg, bend and down. Your right knee toward your chest, straighten, bend and down. Left knee toward your chest, Straighten, bend, and down. If you want to drop your hips between, it's perfectly fine. Inhale your right knee up. Kick. Bend and down, and your left knee up. Kick. Bend and down. Now we're coming all the way down. You can shake your wrists out, your hands out. 
and take your hands and point them behind you. Just going to lean back, bending our arms, giving our wrists and hands a little stretch. That's a lot of work for the hands, I know. And we're coming back up. You can shake your hands around, wiggle your fingers. And we'll do one more fun playtime crab. Something we did when we were kids, maybe we haven't done it in so many years. You can inhale back into reverse table the crab. And we're walking to the back of the mat and walking back to the front at your own pace. You could walk back and forth. Back and forth a little more. I know I'm cheating. My mat is covered with sand so it doesn't blow away in the wind. So we can go back and forth a few times. Very, very nice. And when we're ready in the center, we'll drop our hips, bring our knees close to our chest. We look like a beach ball now. We will do rolling like a beach ball back and forth. That's a lot of fun on the beach. So your knees are together, your hands are on your shins, and we're going to roll back and forth, massaging the spine. So we're rolling back and forth. You can feel this nicely on your spine. Walls are a lot of fun on the beach, in a pool, anywhere. And there we are. We're going to go into seal. When I borrowed this seal pose, it's not necessarily a yoga pose. So you are taking your knees out, your hands and arms come under your calves and on the outsides of your ankles. So you're grabbing your ankles. You, if this is not accessible to you, grab your feet any way that you can. And we're clapping our feet together in, in the front, one, two, three, rolling back, clap, 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 rolling forward, one, two, three, rolling back, one, two, three, rolling forward, one, two, three, rolling back, one, two, three, and rolling forward, give yourselves another little clap. Taking your knees together, we're coming into boat pose. And we see plenty of boats here at the Jersey Shore. You could take your hands under your knees, you could extend your legs at a right angle, or you can straighten them all the way. Lift up your arms, and we're taking your left hand, the top of your left hand, to the outside of your right knee and your arms are together like a sailboat and switch arms. We're just alternating back and forth, back and forth. Again, you could have your legs bent. You could just be hanging on to the sides, whatever works for you. And maybe at the end we can straighten our legs and we're bending them. Now we are fish tailing our feet around. A lot of fish in the sea, especially here at the Jersey Shore. I keep seeing so many. And we're coming into a sphinx pose. This is a good stretch for our abs, for all the work we just did on our abs. And then you're bringing your arms out to the side, around behind you, interlacing your fingers and we're pulling our shoulders up and our arms up to the sky in shark pose. Maybe you want to drop your chin to the mat. Your arms can come up even a little higher. Oh my goodness. I hope we don't see any sharks today. This is a good arm stretch. We really worked our arms doing the crab. And you will bend your left leg at the knee and we're rolling over to our right side. So you're picking up your left knee, placing your foot behind your leg. Your head is down. You're giving your arms a nice relaxing stretch. And 
I hope you all know if we do see any sharks while we're swimming that their tender spot is their nose. So if you could possibly think to, I mean, God forbid, but if this does happen to you, to if you could possibly think to give them a good whack punch in the nose, that does help. And bringing our legs around, our arms around, we'll come back into the shark pose, dropping your chin to the mat, bend your right leg at the knee, and we're rolling over to our, with our right knee facing up toward the sky, giving our arms a nice relaxing stretch from all that crab work. And we're breathing. And I know shiny jewelry and things like that attract sharks, so you don't want to be jumping around with that. I can't wear any jewelry in the Jersey Shore anyway, because one wave and it'll come right off and rip away from me. Another inhale. And we're coming back down onto our abs. Put your forearms into Sphinx pose. Your thumbs together, you could spread your fingers apart. Flip over your feet. And we're coming up into Dolphin pose. And in Dolphin pose, walk your feet closer to your arms. However way that's good for you, let your head dangle. And this is dolphin pose. I hope we see some dolphins. If you like, you can inhale your right foot up to the sky and down. We'll play with this for a little while. Left leg up to the sky and down. You can continue doing this. Or you could bend your legs a bit and jump your right foot up and your left. We'll just play with this. Maybe for a split second, you could balance on your forearms. Otherwise, you could just kick your feet up one at a time without jumping up. I just know dolphins are rather playful. They'll probably appreciate us doing this. And you're coming back into the dolphin pose. Straighten your arms one at a time into downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath and downward facing dog. Let your head dangle between your arms. Walk your feet up into the forward fold at the top of your mat. And make your way up into mountain pose. Uttanasana. We will do two full complete sun salutations because we've come to the beach for a lot of sun. It's really a great feeling. We wear sunscreen, of course. We don't want to get burned. But vitamin D is found naturally in the sun. It's really good. It's a good uplifter for your mind and soul and mood. So we will inhale our arms up as you drop your seat into chair. And we're bending forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, down, Uttanasana, forward fold. We'll inhale our right leg back and our left leg on the exhale comes to meet at Downward Dog. Very nice. From Downward Dog, we're inhaling into Plank and we'll exhale as we drop knees, chest, chin. Then we're coming up over the tops of our feet. And we're coming back on the exhale into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Look between your hands. We'll inhale our right foot up into a lunge. Exhale your back foot down into well, you're dropping your back heel down and we're coming up into a warrior one. Your hips are square to the front of your mat. 
opening up into five-pointed star, which is starfish today. Your feet are out at an angle, your palms forward. And we're coming the other way into warrior one. Very, very nice. Pick up your back heel. Bring your right foot forward, the heel forward into chair and stand in Uttanasana. We'll do that on the other side, a little bit different. Inhale your arms up, your seat comes down into chair. Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, down Uttanasana. This time with your hands on either sides of your feet. You'll exhale your left foot back, or excuse me, inhale your right, left foot back, and exhale your right foot back to meet a downward dog. Inhale into plank, and you can do knees, chest, chin, or you could come all the way down into Uttanasana, coming over the tops of your feet, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Looking between your hands, we'll inhale your left foot up and drop your heel of your right foot. We're coming into warrior one, facing the other way. Open up into starfish. When I think of starfish, I think how they regenerate. If like part of their body gets cut off, they can grow it again. And Flipping or coming over your back heel, your back foot. We're back in a forward lunge, looking the other way. Inhale your left foot up to meet your right in chair and Uttanasana. We'll do one more round of sun salutations here at the Jersey Shore. Lift your arms up, your feet comes down, or your seat comes down, and you're in the forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. And this time you could take your hands on either side of your feet. You could bring one leg back at a time and you could jump both legs back and then come down. Here you go. And then upward dog and downward facing dog. Take a nice breath in. And out. So however way you want to make your way into Chaturanga is okay with me. Looking between your hands, we'll, we'll inhale our right foot up and drop your left heel to the mat. Coming up into a warrior one. Open up into starfish. Coming into warrior two. Don't, or not warrior two, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, warrior one facing the other way. Lift up that heel, back heel, as you bring your back foot forward to meet your right in chair and Uttanasana. Inhale your arms up, dropping your seat in chair. Exhale forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. We come up halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Any way you want to come into Chaturanga, you could jump back or take one leg at a time, down into Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out. Look between your hands and inhale your left foot up and we're going to switch this just a tiny bit. You inhale your left foot up and your right foot comes to meet it. Bring your seat down to the mat. Very nice. You're fishtailing your feet around. And you're coming into a sphinx pose. Very, very nice. From sphinx pose, we are coming over the tops of our feet and we're coming into dolphin. And we're just going to play this backwards, roll, um, letting your head dangle between your hands. 
We're relaxing, coming back to our peaceful breath. And from dolphin, you're walking your feet back, dropping your pelvis toward the mat. Your arms come out to the sides and bring them around behind. Interlace your fingers. You're bringing your arms up into the shark pose, chin down to the mat. A very nice stretch. Unlace your hands, put your hands down under your shoulders, and we're coming up into the upward facing dog. Bring your seat up and around, fish tail your feet around. Very nice. And from this, we're coming right into boat pose, Navasana. Just relaxing, we're winding down. Could maybe take a full boat pose. And very nice, bending your legs at the knees. From boat pose, we're going to take our knees together. Make sure you're in the center of your mat and we're rolling back for the beach ball. To massage our spine, we can do that two or three times at your own pace, whatever it is that you like. And coming back up, we'll separate our knees, put your hands under your calves, around your ankles, and you can clap your feet together. One, two, three, roll onto your backs. One, two, three, roll forward. One, two, three. Back, one, two, three. Forward, one, two, three. You really need to applaud yourself. Back, one, two, three. Forward, one, two, three. Dropping your feet to the mat. We'll take our hands behind our hips. Our fingers are facing our toes, that side of the mat. And you're lifting up your hips one more time into the crab. This time you could look up toward the sky, maybe drop your head, the crown of your head toward the mat. Very, very nice. And drop your seat. We're going to move our hands out to the sides of the mat a little bit further because we're coming up one more time into crab. Reverse table, we're swinging our hips between our hands and setting down into a staff pose. Our legs are straight out in front of us and we're inhaling our arms up and exhaling down toward our feet, a forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Give yourselves a nice stretch. Your legs have been working really hard. A lot of circulation happening. This is, this is the time to stretch the hot, warm muscles. And on the way up, you are bending your right leg at the knee and bringing it with you as you lay down onto your back. Your hands are on your shin of your right leg. Take your right arm out to the side with your left hand on your right knee. You're bringing it, crossing it over your body for a nice spinal twist. You could look the other way. Look at your right hand that's extended. A nice, lovely spinal twist. You're breathing, winding down. Looking up to the ceiling, we're bringing our right leg back up. Your left knee comes to meet your right and straighten your right leg. Take your left arm out to the side like a T and with your right hand on your left knee, we're crossing it over our bodies and we're coming into a spinal twist 
On the other side, looking over at our left. And just breathing, enjoying the peacefulness of the Jersey Shore, the ocean, the waves. We're releasing the hold on our left knee, bringing our right knee up to meet it. And perhaps you could take your forehead up to touch your knees. Give yourselves one last final tight hug and relax into Shavasana. In Shavasana, let your Feet splay out to the sides, the palms of your hands are up toward the sky, your eyes are closed. Or they could be open, you could watch my cameraman as he takes the camera and shows you some great views of the Jersey Shore. Breathing in and breathing out. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, make a nice little wrist and ankle circles one way, the other way. Take your right arm up over beyond your head. You could roll over to your right side with your left leg crossed over your right like a mermaid. Another deep, deep breath. We'll make our way back into Sukhasana, cross-legged position, and we'll breathe like the whales do. Our shoulders are right up over our hips. We're inhaling through our nostrils, the blow holes. Exhale, have all that mist come right out of you. And place your hands together in prayer. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Jersey Shore. And we hope you had a great, great time. Come visit here if you like. And be sure to subscribe, like us. We love you and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.